Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day. And this one's all about a diagram made up of different sized rectangles. We've got large rectangles which are pink and smaller rectangles which are green. It says for each large rectangle the length is double the width. And that's going to be crucial. So what this means is that one length is the same as a width plus another width. Because each length is two lots of the width, double the width, a width plus another width. It says the length of the diagram is 60 metres. Find the area of one of the small rectangles. Well, the easy thing to do here is go to the top of the diagram and write on the word width on the width of the actual pink rectangle. But this distance here is the length of the pink rectangle. And what we've just said over here is that a length is a width plus another width. So what we could do is write width plus another width along the top of that length. And we've got another length here. So again, that length is also a width plus another width. And now we need to use a little bit of common sense. We've written the word width five times across the top here so that means that five of these widths are equal to 60 meters so if five widths are equal to 60 one width must be whatever 60 is divided by five well 60 divided by five is 12 meters so one width must be worth 12 and we can start writing this onto the diagram now so if this width is worth 12, the length of the pink rectangles are double the width. So double 12 is 24, which makes this distance worth 24 and this distance worth 24. But now let's turn our attention to the green triangles. If you split the length of a pink triangle into three, you get the width of a green triangle. So this 24 divided by three is eight. So this must be 8, 8, and 8, and the same on this one, 8, 8, and 8. Now the only thing we haven't found is the length of one of the smaller green rectangles. Well, we do know that the whole distance of the diagram is the same as one of the lengths of the pink rectangles, and the length of the pink rectangles is 24. So if this distance is 24, it's 24 on this side. But we also know that the width of the pink rectangle is 12. So to get 12 up to the 24, the green rectangle must be another 12. Because 12 and 12 makes this 24 that we know that it's got to be. Now at this point, it's worth pointing out that the diagram isn't drawn to scale. So it doesn't look like those two numbers should both be the same, 12 and 12, but actually they are if you work it out. So we're almost ready to find our final answer. It says find the area of one of the small rectangles. Well, the small rectangles are 12 long and 8 wide. So it is going to be 12 multiplied by 8, length times width, 12 times 8 is 96. So it's going to be 96 meters squared final answer 96 meters squared